And you might note that it's, it's just not just me, but also Mick O'Neill's name on this. And of course, that's something I learned from a previous coworker, never to do a talk with just your name on it. You always have to have somebody to blame for the mistakes. So, so what is this Nova Scotia Mineral Incentive Program? And I want to just sort of go over it. It was a three-year program uh, originally. And uh, the incentive program was created in 2012 with the goal to increase and promote mineral exploration, leading to mineral discoveries, new producing mines in the province, hopefully. And uh, the Nova Scotia Mineral Incentive Program funded several initiatives. And I just want to go through those very quickly to so that you, you're aware of all the components. I know some people are aware of one, but not the other, so. Uh, they consisted of uh, components, the prospector grants to prospectors, advanced grants to advanced projects, uh, marketing grants, which assisted individuals in going to uh, things like prospectors and developers and other meetings that they wanted to go to to market their various uh, properties. And finally, the prospector education program, because the future of exploration is always grounded by those people that are out there with the boots and the hammer doing the initial prospecting. So under the prospector grants, prospector grants are up to $15,000, and uh, these are intended to fund activities by prospectors on grassroots exploration activities to find economically viable mineral resources. And a couple of pictures of some of the work. I, I noticed everybody seems to be just standing around in the pictures and not actually doing anything, but I couldn't find one with a hammer and, and somebody actually hitting things. Uh, the advanced uh, project grants are up to $100,000 and provide up to 50% of the eligible cost and this is an industry government cost sharing initiative, 50-50 uh, usually. And uh, it's designed to fund exploration and evaluation activities beyond the grassroots level. And quickly, I'll just show you distribution. You can't read the, the lettering on these, but uh, as to who got what grant, and that's probably good anyway. Uh, <laughs> But what I, what I want to show you with these various yearly shots is just basically the distribution of where these grants have gone. This is a plot of both the prospector and the advanced programs. And this is the 2012 uh, work. And as you can see, a pretty good even distribution. 213, uh, also uh, a similar kind of distribution throughout the province. And finally, uh, the current year, 2014, and again, it's not that we strive to get a spread across the province, but it's nice that we ended up with one. And so, uh, but each individual project uh, comes to us and there's a committee of geologists that sit and uh, evaluate each project for their validity and come to a decision. And Mick O'Neill, as many of you know, acts as the coordinator. Uh, and Diane plays her role as, law, as well as Ron Mills in coordinating the, uh, the uh, marketing end of things. And of course, we funded various things uh, through the uh, Mining Association of Nova Scotia. Um, these are some numbers, and they're not the final numbers by any stretch of the imagination. These are what we were able to conjure up so far. Uh, we are in the process of, of gathering the metrics from this, uh, from this program. But it, just rough figures, you can see that the private investment money generated in 2012 was about 570,000, uh, 213 about 421,000. These are just for the advanced projects and uh, for a total of over a million dollars in expenditure for those two years, and we're still awaiting the expenditures in 2014. 
So for a relatively small amount of money that's spread over several different uh, aspects of this uh, mineral incentive program, uh, we're, get, we're getting our money's worth in the amount of exploration that's going on, uh, at least stimulated by this mineral incentive program. The marketing grants, marketing grants provide funds for prospectors and, uh, and uh, explorationists to go to the Prospectors and Developers Association of Canada Convention in Toronto, to the Mineral Exploration Roundup in Vancouver. We've also funded people to go to the Quebec show as well. Uh, and the idea is that these grants uh, get the people to, to have the opportunity to promote their properties uh, to other people in the industry. Over the program so far, we've had about $60,000 in grants for travel to these various marketing opportunities. Prospector education program. Uh, we, again, as I would like to say, we want to emphasize that, that our future is in training the new prospectors that, that come and do the work in the province, uh, most of them Nova Scotians, not all of them full-time, in fact, most of them not full-time, but those, those boots and hammers on the ground are the ones that find the new discoveries. So, and one of the things that we're trying to do is provide funds so that there can be an educational component so that the prospectors learn about new types of deposits, new ways of doing things. One of those was the funding that we did for the uh, GIS map preparation uh, courses that are still ongoing, I believe, around the province. This is just a shot from one of them. Uh, the other thing that we funded through the Mining Association of Nova Scotia was the Prospector Education Program was the uh, funding of 11 online videos on prospecting. And uh, you can see the various modules. And if you haven't had a chance to look at these, go on to the website, have a look at them. Very well done. I want to thank all the people that gave of their time for voiceovers, for providing the, the uh, pictures and uh, diagrams to make this module these modules possible. I think they're unique. They're certainly centered on what's in Nova Scotia. And uh, I think that the Mineral Center program got very good value for the money invested in these particular programs because they will last forever. Even if MIP funding uh, disappears, these will still be there for the prospectors. So, I guess the question now is where do we go from here? And one of the things that I want to thank a lot of people about for is that Mick uh, and myself and others have been asking for feedback on grants previously granted to individuals to get their uh, information back from them as to how effective the program has been. And we've had good response, but there's still a few people that haven't let us know. So. If you have good things to say and you want to write them down, see Mick, he'll be hanging around. Uh, Mick, who is the coordinator. Um, sometimes we sort of lack traction uh, on this sort of thing, so we need the more information that we have, uh, the easier it is to justify to government the kind of programs like the Mineral Center program. So what we need Again, if we want to have a continuation of this kind of programming in the province, is uh, feedback from those individuals who benefit it from the program, uh, from any part of the program, not just getting grants or not just uh, an advanced grant or a prospector's grant, but also the, um, the things like the marketing grants. If you went to prospectors and developers and, and made a deal, let us know because we want, we want to share that information with the government of the day. 
so that they understand the value of this kind of program. You know, how much exploration expenditure was generated uh, by the grants themselves, uh, how much the property interest, uh, interest was generated by going to these various trade shows, and also, even if you didn't get a grant or even a uh, 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 marketing grant, if you had and looked at the prospector modules and you were impressed by them, let us know. Uh, these are all very good things uh, that we can use. So our hope is that we'll be able to continue this kind of mineral incentive program in the future. And one of the ways that we can uh, see that this happens is by making sure that uh, the politicians and our government are informed about the value of these kind of programs. Thank you.